start off by giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Raka Kadesh, the ones to the elders and the apostles, the great middle son of the time is truth. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no power with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Lord letting us know that you know the issues of death belong to him. And that even includes suicide. It's the Lord that puts it on the person's spirit to commit suicide. Alright? And um this is um a video about Miss USA. Um she's actually a terror. She's not Israel, she's an Edomite, even though she looked like one of us. Alright, but she's a terror. Alright, this is um Job chapter four verse uh, seven. Remember I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or what were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen they that prowl iniquity and so wickedness reap the same. By the blast of power they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils they are consumed. So this is the Lord letting us know no innocent people are ever, you know, put to death or die. You know, the scriptures tell us that the wages of sin is death. Alright, now when I look at her story, you know, I probably go ahead and just play this short clip, but when I look at her story, I don't think they go into. I think they say she was a dog, a, a, um, a lawyer, had an MBA, and um, she would teach from time to time. So she was at pretty much at the height of feminism, and yet she still wasn't happy. All right, she decided to take her own life, being at the height of feminism. You know, where the serpent beguiled Eve and she ate of their fruit. Well, this woman ate of their fruit. It was at the height. And that's because whether they want to admit it, you know, a woman is not marrying and bringing forth children. You know, some on the inside of her is never, ever right. All right? So it ain't about the career for a woman. It's about the family. All right? Having a husband, bringing forth children. Alright, and that's why it says in the see, see first Timothy uh first Timothy second chapter. Um and I'm gonna um, start at the um ninth verse. In like manner also that the woman adorned herself in modest apparel with shame faces, sobriety. Not wearing braided her or gold or pearls or cause their way. So pretty much dressing down, not putting yourself in the spotlight, which, you know, her being this big model or whatever, um, USA, she was all the way in the spotlight. But which becoming woman professing gardeners with good works. All right? So Tim is saying with good works. Let the woman learn in silence with our suggestion. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Neither to exert authority over the man, but to be in silence. All right? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Notwithstanding, if she should be saved in trial bearing, if she continue in the faith, cheerless, holiness, and sobriety. So the woman's job is to bear a child. All right? You know, that is what really goals are supposed to be, right? And when they ain't um, doing what they was put on this earth to do, and, you know, and uh, be up under the man and bright children, uh, they are not happy, right? All right, this is um, Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Uh, up to the woman, he said, I would greatly multiply thy sorrows and thy conception. And in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire to be to thy husband, and he should rule over thee. All right, so.
so this is letting you know that a woman is supposed to be up under of a husband and that husband is supposed to be ruled over the woman all right a woman ain't supposed to be out there all alone by herself but think about it, this woman had a husband she would have had someone there to talk her down out of doing something as foolish as throwing your own life away all right it never would have happened if she had a husband her husband would have stopped her from doing it all right so that is something to keep in mind all right now Okay, I'm um, going to play the video, and um, with that, Shalom. There is a search for answers today in the shocking death of former Miss USA Chesley Christ. She was only 30 years old. The end came for Chesley here at this 60-story luxury high-rise in Midtown Manhattan. Reports say Christ was last seen alive on the 29th floor terrace alone, and it is believed she jumped to her death. Authorities say she left behind a note, leaving everything to her mother. North Carolina. Chesley was crowned Miss USA in 2019, dazzling the nation with her beauty as well as brains. She has a law degree from Wake Forest. Moments after she won, she spoke to Inside Edition. I'm so excited. It's really surreal. I still can't believe it happened. Chesley's victory made pageant history. For the first time, three black women held the titles of Miss USA, Miss Teen USA, and Miss America in the same year. It's really exciting. I can't believe it. I think it would be exciting as an onlooker, but it's even more thrilling to actually be one third of that sort of trifecta. In a haunting last Instagram posted the morning of her death, she wrote, may this day bring you rest and peace with a heart emoji. Gail King choked up with emotion this morning. Nobody saw this coming, and this is what's so upsetting to me. How do you know to offer someone help if you don't know they need the help? That's why this is hitting me so hard she was friends with current miss usa l smith how shocking was this for you it's shocking um not only because of the way in which she died um but it's because she was such a light that you would have never expected this to happen no motive for the suicide was known but in a 2018 interview she spoke about mental health i do a lot to make sure that i maintain my mental health and the most important thing that I did is talk to a counselor. Her heartbroken family released this statement. Her great light was one that inspired others around the world with her beauty and strength. Chesley embodied love and served others. A promising young life gone too soon.